Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. When we last left off, we managed to find out where we were stuck, and it was all due to a damn statue puzzle that for some reason we couldn't get activated. However, we've managed to do that, and we have got uh, a couple of keys to play with. We were also go told to go to hell, which is rather charming, by the old bag. Nice. By the old bag sleeping upstairs in the bed. Right, let's go, let's go. So, keys, keys. We need one for one of the drawers. Wow. There's some serious shit going on outside. Hey, we unlocked the door. Nice. Okay. So, in theory, we should be able to just hit up this straight away that would be nice door is locked so we want try the small key all right and that leads to would you have thunked it another key and a well, large ornate key and a half photograph right so let's Combine these two bad boys and examine them. Um, I'm guessing that's fourteen oh eight plus twenty five eighteen. Okay, and that, ladies and gentlemen, should give us the code that we need for the library. Oh, hello. Ah, zombies? Really? Oh, uh, sorry. Zombie. Yes. Well, I don't really have time for you. You might be more of a fuck factor. Okay. So, the library. Where was the library, actually? Uh, yeah, we need to go down. No, we need to go upstairs, don't we? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We can go upstairs. Which was this one? Oh, no. We're going downstairs. Is that right? You know, I'm so confused over the layout of this place. Yeah, that's right. Place really is confused. Uh... Right, yeah, sure, of course. Kind of right, kind of wrong. Um, library three here. Yeah, I believe. Nope, that's the zombie corridor. I know where I'm going, guys. For fuck's sake, I know what I'm doing. Right, been hunting monsters for years. Something. Uh, there we go. That's what we want. Right. So. Okay. We're going to have to do a little bit of simple maths here. I don't actually have a pen on me. Ah, uh, my tablet's in because, of course, it is. I mean, do, you, do you really expect me to come prepared these days? Okay, so. Uh, examine. Right, so that is 8 plus 8 is 16. So, that will be 2 plus 0 is... So, we've got 26, 9, 3. 3, 9, 2, 6. Okay. 3926, if my math is correct. 396. Ah! There we go. Right. Now. Oh, yes! Ooh. We have a weapon. No, we don't. We have a telescope. Okay, I mean, it's kind of like a weapon. A weapon for the eyes. Hello. A, a niche uh, in the wall containing several statues. 
piled on top of one another. Uh, yeah, we don't really have anything for that though. Oh, that backward text. The key, the key to the portrait is the date. So, hang on. I don't know how to do that. If I just put my phone up against the monitor. The key to the portraits is the date those they represent were born on. Jeez, I hope you got a mirror nearby when you was a kid. Um, hmm. uh, right, well, I mean, okay. So we've still got an ornate key. I think that was everything. No shotgun shells or anything? No? Okay. Right, so what is up the stairs then? Because there was another secret concealed door up there, but I don't know if that has anything to do with the one that we have just add a little squiz at. Let's have a look. Now the telescope, we have to use that up in the tower if memory serves. Yeah, okay, so that, that one hasn't swung open yet. Let's see what the telescope does. I'm guessing we're going to see something. Uh, not really sure what. I don't know whether it's going to be something that we have to do or whether it's going to be like an optional thing, considering it was behind some kind of locked paywall. Uh, paywall. <laughs> Uh, some locked door. I'm guessing it's important. Why do we have to manually climb these ladders? Couldn't these have just been loading screens like Resident Evil did? Okay, fine. I can see the fort in the distance, but with the naked eye, I can barely see anything. Right. Ah, uh, telescope. You place the telescope on the tripod. Okay. You want to look through the telescope? Well, yes. Oh. Okay. Zoom 400. This is wonderful, but... Exactly. No, seriously, what are we actually looking at? Uh, that's 200. Hmm. Really appear to be anything here, though. Am I missing something? Because there sure as shit ain't nothing happening. Okay. Well. Not really sure what's going on. I mean, surely there has to be something here to look at, right? I mean, otherwise, what's the point? But I ain't seeing Jack, Chief. I mean, it's very possible that I'm missing. That's... Like a certain window or texture or something. Right up there. 
Oh, hello. 1692, um, I guess. Alright, I mean, I'll write that down somewhere. Phone will have to do. 1692. Now, I don't know what the purpose of this is. Oh, hello. Um, okay. Ooh. Carnby. Yeah, it's me. So, found anything out? I hope you had good news. Yeah, well, no. I spotted a man in a fort that overlooks the island. It might be Obed Morton. So? So what? <laughs> no, I didn't blast him like a sitting duck, even if that's just what he deserves. This entire mess never would have happened if he and all his bent family hadn't been warped by ambition. Mm -hmm. Obed Morton has made great progress in his field. Increasing our knowledge of mankind, he's a genius with a passion for his work. Besides, who is Obed Morton to you? I can't talk about him without you immediately getting all worked up. I have good reason to believe that Professor Morton... That Obed Morton is... My father. If that's a joke, it's not funny. The date coincides, and I was shown a picture. So that's why you agreed to come to the island. And also for the Abcanis writing tablets. Abcanis writing tablets, my foot. Why didn't you write <laughs> to him for crying out loud? Why <laughs> rush straight over here? I want to hear it from his own mouth. Actually, I, I understand. I should tell you to stay put, but be careful, Alini, and, and call me if you have a problem. Carnby. <laughs> oh the dialogue's just divine yeah she has a problem right she has a problem with us for some reason even though we're well we're not really trying to well we are trying to help her she does come off as quite the bitch though uh well i mean you know at least daddy isn't actually daddy thinks uh, and Fisk isn't dead either, if uh, memory serves from the end of the first part. They've both been bamboozled. Right, so the key that we... We got a small bronze key. Which says, sweet FA. And a large ornate key. Um, ground floor library. But we... Uh, Okay. But we've already used that key though, right? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, so is there nothing else to do in here then? Hmm. Yeah, we don't have anything like that. Now, we didn't do that puzzle as um, a line, so... I guess we have to do it as um, can't be. I mean, admittedly, it might not be a puzzle at all, but that doesn't really make any sense now, does it? And whilst bloody fucking Elaine is off doing whatever the fuck she's doing. Oh, talking of Elaine and all that sort of shit, for some reason this has popped into my head. Apparently Uncharted is coming to the PC now. Which is interesting. Um, yay, there we go. Uh, lots of... Oh, fucking hell. Hello. Hello, lads. Seems like a lot of uh, Sony games are coming to the PC. And I say, fucking right on. To be honest. Uh, right, yes. Yeah, yes, please. I'd rather. I mean, I'm not a huge. I, I like Uncharted. Don't get me wrong. 
uh, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan in the world, but I do like Uncharted. I have had quite a bit of fun with it over the years. Can't open that one. Uh, is that door locked or is it jammed? Locked. Why is it not red on the map? Uh, I mean, that suits me down to the ground because I'd rather be putting money into my PC than buying consoles. That's the way it's going to be. That's the way it's going to be. Right, so now we've unlocked everything. I mean, one great thing about PCs is backwards compatibility, huh? Huh? Right? I can still play the games that I bought fucking millions of years ago. Oh, uh, we got Zeds everywhere now, haven't we? Yes. Uh, so we've got another code. And we've got a key. You know what? It's fine. We've got another key, and we've got another key. I can't think of anywhere that where we need to use that. A uh, small bronze key. One second, guys. Right, and we're back, guys. Okay, sorry about that. Messages came back from work. Um, okay. So, <clears throat> from what I can understand, I have just had a quick thumb through uh, the guide, and we are, believe it or not, missing another item that apparently we've overlooked. Um, right, so apparently in this room, there was another thing. Uh, roll top desk. Right. Really? You've taken the acrobat statue. There we go. And a dictaf. I have always wondered about the circle of stones located in the moors. When I would ask Edenshaw about it, he always remained very vague. I now think it's some kind of ritual calendar used to determine various astronomical events. I have started building a planetarium that will be used in conjunction with the Circle of Stones. All this seems linked to the gate, to the opening of the gate, and to the ritual of the Seven Statues. Edenshaw was very surprised. It seems he had not thought them related. I therefore talked him into performing the ritual of his ancestors. I know his weakness and how to use it. He wanted to convince me of his powers as a witch doctor. Even he acted out of pride. I recorded him while he spoke the sacred words of his pride. He was standing before one of the seals, and the direction in which he pronounced the incantation seemed an important part of the ritual. But nothing happened. The time has not yet come, is what he said, justifying himself. Hmm. Indeed. Not quite. Although, I think tonight is night. Right, let me rip into a can of rain. Oh. Yes, I have transitioned from monster rain body fuel. Seems to be a relatively... Apparently it's uh, <laughs> one of the good ones. Well, I don't know about that. They're probably all poison. But it is delicious poison. Okay, so now we have the key. Actually, considering we missed that, it might be worth having a little thumb through this place. Seeing if there's like any shotgun shells or anything that we've missed. Because apparently, we're missing quite a lot of stuff. Uh, we've read this one. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Right, let's go. 
let's go. So we can go back into the library now. We're going downstairs and we should have this statue back pocket. Still can't get over that bloody bus. That really was one fucking hell of a bottleneck. What a while. Okay, so uh I think it was back here, wasn't it? Library. Still can't exactly get you. Uh there we go. Come on. Now so indeed I was correct that Mr. Morton here. Mr. Morton, I mean Armby here, Edward, uh does indeed have something to do up here with that puzzle. It's interesting that as both characters kind of interact with most puzzle elements. Uh not clear that <laughs> there's nothing you can do with it, it's the other character. Which is fine. And I'm definitely finding uh this part of the game to be a lot more puzzle heavy than uh lines. Right. So let's Uh, okay, not sure why most of that was disappearing. Okay, so statues positioned at the summit of. Oh. Ah. We got another Kansas statue. But what else is. Right. Now, would that be the. Number that we wrote down earlier was three ninety two. Two. Yes. Yes. So, what did that open? Right, another one of these. Um. Now, is that all of these open now? Thinks. Let's get out of it. Um, I'm guessing as well, like this hidden door up here. Does this one just not open for Edward? Seems that way, which is a little bit strange. But I can't remember if we got in there as a line, a line. Still don't know. Can't remember how you pronounce. It. Not Ellen. Yeah. Okay, so we can't actually use that one, I guess. Bit of a pain, because, you know, I like to think there's some nice juicy goodies in there. But I guess not for Carnby. Do we have any handgun bullets left? Yeah, we got a full, full load of those in our handgun. Not that they're any good. They're literally fucking useless. Like, I... I genuinely don't see the point in the handgun because the way they explain um Kambi's handgun is it's like this powerful custom double bloody cylinder double barreled handgun but it doesn't really seem any more powerful than um a line lines it's bloody right so we need to go back do we have bad nicks in here? This music. Oh shit, me. Hello. Of course we have bad nicks. Get the fuck off my face. Get off my dick, dude. Okay, I don't think that actually worked. Yeah, that worked. Then impact into the next world. Oh fuck. I don't like the way these guys can literally appear right in front of you. Like, they, they can appear so they get a free hit on you. Not a fan of that. We did have that in the other scenario as well. Like, enemies would literally just appear straight in front of your face. Yeah, I don't like that, Chief. Okay. Now, are we solving this now? 
So which one opened up? Yes. What is that? Grave metallic plate. Okay, mechanism appears on the bottom of each port. Right. This grave metal plate bearing astronomical symbols. Okay. So, um, what is this about then? Oh. Okay, and all the lights have gone off. Let's turn the light back on. So, guessing we need numbers for each of these. Now, if we remember back to the um the back to front riddle that we saw earlier, it said something about. Wish we could actually get a look at these. Right, yeah, it said something about um, the date of birth of all dudes. So, the only trouble is we, we don't know which portrait is who. But I have all the so it's fine. Um, apparently, this is the hardest puzzle in the game. Plenty of math actually work it out. So the first one is Morton. He's the one that built Shadow. So the code for finding out when he was born. Founded Morton's Order in 1889, which it does actually say in uh, the family biography. But it also said did that at the age of 37. So using some very basic um or the family tree actually yes, because it was a family tree. Find out that he was born in eighteen Okay. Okay. Yeah, really frustrating that it doesn't match tell you. Okay. Doesn't actually tell you who these portraits are, you know, kind of a bit of a pain in the ass. Now the next one is Archibald Moore, uh, famous. Ex now, here's the thing: you can kind of see that he's meant to be the explorer. You can kind of see that, um, you know, he's in Iceland and all that kind of shit, or he's somewhere you know, exploring. But that first painting there, you really can't see it. So it could be fucking anyone. Okay. So he is 187. Now all of this is in the family history, I believe. Right, now we have Jeremy Moore. He's 1899. 1899. Uh, 18... Click, lovely. And last but not least is Orange. I would more recent. Uh, now he is born nineteen thirty-one. Okay. Now what happens after this? I don't know. But we're gonna find out together. Oh, the clock open. Uh, of course it does. Oh, that was the clock down here. The clock that looked really suspicious. Like, really, really suspicious. Um, 
Yes, there. Pretty sure I said on my um, other playthrough that, you know, something looked a bit iffy with it. So, what have we got in there? Ornate bronze key. Um, okay. That's Manor's entrance. Ooh, are we finally leaving here now? Door is locked. Why don't you just like use the key that you have in your inventory? Alright, then. Cool. Let's go outside. Ooh. That looks so cool. Okay. Now, let's start having a little run around. Now, I haven't looked up any more than this, so I don't know. Oh! Now we actually have... Gate is locked. Now we actually have um, direction indicator. So that unlocks the gate there. Cool. Okay. But before we go through there, let's have a little run around. See if we can find any goodies out. See if there's anything at all. Sounds like there's something mumbling. Bumbling around out here. Ooh. There definitely is something. Three first aid kits and a gas cartridge. Gas cartridge. Save for the flamethrower. Gas tube containing an orange gas that can be used to recharge a plasma cannon. Ah. So, that's not a one shot weapon for um, Edward then. Interesting. Okay. So, what's back here? Yes, that's not a door. I kind of came back here now. It seems sealed up. Okay, well, it was definitely worth coming back here. Absolutely. So we got some ammo and three first aid kit. Is that foreboding? Is that telling us that <laughs> we've got some shit coming our way? Probably. But I think it's about time. Peace out for now. Yes. So, guys. I think we're going to save it here. You know, I don't think I've saved this game for ages either. Uh, it can't be. Yeah. Save complete. Okay. Right. When we come back, we're going to go through the door. And hopefully find some progress. So, until then, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always... Until next time.